Okay, so our next one says it is a Hocus Pocus powder. This is what you need from your kit is citric acid, baking soda, red cabbage juice powder, the two test tubes in the stand, a medium scoop, the small scoop, or wizard wand. And outside of the kit, you need water and a butter knife to stir. Now, we've actually gotten a spoon so that I can stick the spoon down in it. Sure All right, so it says we're going to fill two test tubes with three-fourths full of water and set them in the test tube stand. We have two test tubes left um, before we have to rinse anything out. So if you hold, you take these, and we're going to fill them three-fourths full with water. And I poured all over Josh's lap. Okay, that's close enough, I think. I think most of these are fairly forgiving projects. So we've got two test tubes filled with water. How did you all go? It says we're going to add one small scoop of red cabbage juice powder to each test tube. Is it like, like, is it kind of All right. Oh, so this one does the same thing when you open it up. The other ones were just kind of loose in there, but this has this little packet. Okay, I'm going to pick up the test tube for you. Hold that. You're going to get one scoop out of there, and we're going to put it in the water. You drop it down in there. See, as it starts to drip down in there, it looks really cool. It, it looks right like blood. It does, it does yeah. kind of look like blood. It's like a lava lamp or something going down in there. There it drips all down. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's seal that back up real good. Okay, now it says do we're going to... Do you think it looks like blood? So, there we go. It says to stir them up a little bit. It looks, oh, I thought it was dissolved, but it had pretty much settled at the bottom there. Okay, now it says that you should have two test tubes of purple with liquid, and so you should wave your wand over them and say a magic spell. You want to say your little magic spell? After us, and yes. I think I should do the other one, because, you know, I, I have my own little powers. Um, Wait, first you need the oh, wand. I need the hat. hat. Oh, I need the hat. <laughs> Well, I was <laughs> Lemony <laughs> snickety. Okay, now it says to add one medium scoop of the baking soda to one of the tubes and stir. So they point out this is a white powder that we're adding to the purple liquid. Was so this one? No, just one. I'm going to get a scoop out. And we're going to put it in there. Look at that. Oh, we magically changed the red liquid to a pretty purple liquid. I hope you can see that really good. It's really awesome. That's, That's what your purple. magic spell did. That's purple. But I've got to tell you, I think I can do better than that. So for my magic spell, I am going to add, it says, so here we go. You want to hold up the tube for me? I'm going to add a scoop of citric acid, which is also kind of a white crystally powder. It almost looks like salt. And in it goes. Start to swirl it around, see what happens. They're saying that this powder, that the red cabbage juice is kind of purple. I feel like in this light, and maybe on camera it looks different. In this light, it looked kind of red to us, didn't it? Uh-huh. And this looked ended up looking more purple to us. But they're saying this is blue, which... When I, I don't know, it looks very purple to us. Um, do you agree? Like, it kind of is like a bluish yeah, I purple. I see some blue, but not as Yeah, much. and see, this was supposed to turn from the purple to the red. Now, it definitely did get more red. Definitely is really, really red in comparison to what it was. But I didn't feel like it was a huge change. It got a lot lighter. So it might just be the lighting in here, and, and I don't know. But those are the two tubes together. The red cabbage juice was able to tell us whether something was more acidic, which is this color, or more of a base, which is this color, which is cool. Okay, so we've started our next project. We had to um, rinse out all the tubes and start over again. We are going on to the crystal ball one. So it says we're going to need our vegetable oil, which came in this little tube, and color tablets, 
one test tube in the stand and the water. It said to fill the test tube with one half full of, of oil. So we've already done that. Now it says we're going to add some water to the test tube and look at the oil sit on top of the water. So um, you hold this. Yeah, I've, I've done that before. And we're going to add some water into here. Uh. It is really cool. You've never seen it before. The two, they can't mix, so they kind of separate like that. It makes this really neat concoction. You could swirl it. I could even, I could even take my spoon and stir it, and try to make them mix, and they still won't mix. See? Now it says we're going to drop in a blue colored tablet into the test tube. Let's see what happens. Okay. Whoa, that was kind of cool. Oh, well, look! Did you see it rising the surface? Let's see if we can hold it with the camera. Let the camera see. So it's bubbling up there. The the oil slowed down the blue thing and then and then when it hit the water it just like went faster down. I think the oil slows stuff down. It's kind of cool. There we go, as it's kind of mixed, it looks like it's not going into the oil, right? It's just staying at the bottom in the water. Uh -huh. It's not mixing up in the oil. So hold this. Let's see what the rest of the instructions say. It says screw on the cap of the test tube very tightly so that no liquid can kind of come out. It says turn the test tube over and over a few times. Keep pulling. It says turn it over and over. Here, let's hold it up for the camera to see. Watch what it's doing there. It's all swirling together. But I bet if we hold it still, it may still separate again. We'll see. Look at that. See, it's starting to separate. The bottom's getting very blue. The top's getting oil, so it's separating again. That's Rest the tube on the cap. You just made a test tube crystal ball. Look at the enchanting swirling colors. To use your crystal ball, think about what you want to know about the future. Do you want to see how well you do on a test or how you'll do in a soccer game? Concentrate until you can see yourself doing less well on the test or scoring the winning goal. Only time will tell if you can predict the future. So what do you think? What, what do we want to look in here and pretend and see if we can figure out what we're going to do? How am I going to do well on my Midwest? Your Midwest yes. State Test. That's a very good one. Okay. So we're supposed to look at it and imagine you doing well. I can see you getting 100%. Can you see yourself getting 100% on the yeah. test? What do you think? Think of the tell? <laughs> hmm. I think it says that you'll get 100% if you study really well. I gotta say this is really cool. As it's sat here and separates, the top looks kind of sparkly and foamy. It's really cool looking. <coughs> and then it gives us, just like before, it gives us information on the bottom here as to why this works and why this does that. So I think that's pretty neat to you shake it up really good like that. And yet it will still go ahead and start to separate as you leave it sit. So we're going to leave this sit here for a few minutes while we move on to the next test. But we're going to go ahead and make a stop and do our magic wand from the beginning. And I have set it aside. Um, I don't know how well you can tell on camera, but it definitely, they have absorbed a whole lot of the color. I don't want to spill it into the crystals. They've expanded. They were down here at the bottom and now they're filled all the way up to the top. And remember, it was just a little bit that we put in there and it only filled up about that. And they have expanded and absorbed the water. It says, now you should have a test tube full of purple crystals. Take a few out and play with them. Let's put a couple in your hand here. And you can go hold them up to the camera and let the camera see. Uh. You do that? They're kind of wet and gooey. They almost feel like gelatin. Look, that is... That just looks gross. Well, they kind of... They're very wet and slimy, too, in there. The next step says we need this and our two caps. K 
okay and it has us put one cap on the end. There we go, we got it. Okay, so now it says that we're supposed to put these crystals into here and we're supposed to fill it all up. Now it tells you to use your hand to make a funnel. They are safe to touch. That's why they told you to pull it out and touch it. Um, however, a real funnel might be easier than this, I feel like. Oh. I kind of feel a little bit like boogers. <laughs> Just going to be honest with you. Not that I pick my nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but I take my nose, but I do take care of kids a lot, and I know what boogers feel like. Mm. Definitely feel like a real funnel might help this process go a little easier. Um, well, that kind of works. You kind of hold it steady and just use your hands, like it says, to kind of block and keep it from falling. And they do kind of just want to slide in there. It's not as bad as I thought it was. It actually wants to go in. Okay, so we've emptied most of what we put in there, and it's definitely filled up most of the two, and then it says that we're supposed to cap off the end. Those are just pain. And there we go. We have our magic sparkly wand, and it does kind of shimmer just a little bit in the light. It looks kind of neat. Um, what do you think? Yes, you know I have two wands. <laughs> okay, I will take this wand and put it safely away. Okay, so there are actually a couple more projects in here. Um, now that we have our magic wand, we're going to do one more with the magic wand. And then we'll leave the rest for you to discover another time. So we're going to do our magic wand lava. For this one it says we need our red cabbage powder, citric acid, the baking soda, the vegetable oil, a test tube and a stand, a medium plastic scoop, the small plastic scoop, the wizard wand, and then with out, outside of the package you need water and a butter knife. This one says we're going to add water to the test tube until it's one third full. So we have this test tube here, we're going to add it, I'm going to hold it and I'll pour it in until so we're one third full. I think that's probably about good. Now it says we are going to add one medium scoop of baking soda and stir. So, okay, so we're going to add one medium baking Ooh. soda scoop and we're going to stir. Good thing that didn't fall so down. It goes. Okay, and it says to stir it. You're making a tornado. Okay. Now it says add a small scoop of the red powder, red cabbage juice powder, and stir it in. So let's And it says we need to stir it in, so we're going to stir that together. That makes our purpley blue like it did earlier. So we have that. Now it says slowly pour vegetable oil into the test tube until it's almost full. Now, this is the one thing that I feel like this is probably going to use up the most, the rest of our vegetable oil. However, the cool thing is, is it's definitely something that you know, vegetable oil something you can easily obtain to reuse the kit if you want it to later. Here, hold this. Are you using all of it? So, so it's almost full, so I think that's going to mostly use the rest of it. Which is fine, none of the other um, ones use the vegetable oil. So you have Whoa. plenty enough in the kit to, to do the projects with. Oh my gosh. Okay, it says set the test tube in the stand and let the magic begin. Wave your wand over the test tube and say some magic words. Now we're gonna then we're gonna add a scoop of a medium scoop of citric acid. 
and have magic lava changing potion. So I'm gonna get the citric acid. You only seem to know one spell. Cause I, cause I'm pretending that I'm raven and she takes and go. Okay, so it's saying we're gonna go ahead and put your magic wand down. Right, so we're gonna add our thing of medium, a medium scoop of citric acid and see what happens. And it just fell like a big. Oh, look at that! Oh, that is so cool. It starts to fizz up like crazy, and all the you see the little droplets falling down in there. That is a huge reaction. You see it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. It definitely looks like almost like a lava lamp fizzing up there. It's really neat looking. Okay, you want to hold it while it continues? All right. So, like I said, there's a couple more um, things that you can do, and there's a little more information in every single um, project had a, a, a description with it why it worked and how it worked and I feel like the cool part about this kit is this is definitely stuff that you can probably obtain fairly easily if you wanted to continue to use it. The stuff is, it, I feel like it's a really sturdy stuff. It's not like when you get really, I've gotten kits before when they're really cheap and flimsy plasticky stuff. This is, they're, they're, I mean they're good. The stand is, you know, I've gotten kits where these stands, if I squeezed them, I mean, I could break this, but it's it's pretty sturdy for what it is. I'm pretty excited about this kit. I think it was really cool. What do you think? Out yeah. of ten points, were ten's the best kit ever and one's the worst kit ever? What do you think? Nine. think it's a nine? Yeah, I definitely think it's a really awesome kit. So I got this kit from Michael's, which is, um, if you don't have a Michael's, is like a hobby store. I've seen it other places too. It was regularly priced at $19.99. I paid, actually only, I used a 50% off coupon and I got it for $9.99. So I feel like it was a really good deal. I definitely think it's an awesome kit and it works well. Um, it might bore somebody that's like 6th grade or older. I feel like you know, a fourth or fifth grader could definitely do it by themselves if they're the type of kid that will read instructions and follow instructions. And um, but if you're the type of parent that likes to sit down and do it with a kid, definitely it was really easy to follow the instructions. Very easy. Not a lot of patience required, which was really good for me. I like it when, especially when you're working with kindergartners, if it doesn't require a lot of patience. So, um, you know, there's not a lot of time between things. The, the magic wand took a little bit but the rest of the kit didn't. Other than that, I'm really pleased with this kit. I think it was money well spent. So go forth and have fun discovering. We'll see. Thank you for watching our episode. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe because we're going to try to do this stuff every week. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks. Go forth and discover. Bye. Bye. Shazam! Jinx. <laughs>